click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to study in detail the construction of DC machine. Any machine basically consists of two parts, first is stator and second is rotor. As the name suggests, stator is the stationary part whereas rotor is the rotating part. Again there are two more parts that is field winding and armature winding. In case of DC machine, field winding is on stator whereas armature winding is on rotor. There are two types of DC machine, DC motor and DC generator. Motor converts electrical energy to mechanical energy, whereas generator converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. Now, let us study in detail the construction of DC machine. The basic construction of DC machine is as shown in figure. The main parts of the DC machine are field winding, yoke or frame, commutator, commutator segments, interpoles, shaft, armature conductor, pole shoe. Now if you see here, the outer structure of the machine is called as yoke or frame. Then field winding are the windings which are mounted on the pole core of the stator. This portion is called as pole shoe. This circular portion is nothing but armature. These are the slots on the outer periphery of the armature. Inside the slots, armature conductors are present. Now if you see, between the rotor that is armature and the stator, air gap is present. Now this air gap is less in this portion whereas it increases around this portion. Similarly, it decreases in this portion and again it increases in this portion. So if we see the overall construction, we can say that the air gap is non-uniform. Such type of machine which have non-uniform air gap between stator and rotor are called as salient pole machines. Now let us study in detail the construction of DC machine. DC machine mainly consists of three parts. First is magnetic field system that is nothing but stator. Second is armature that is nothing but rotor and third is commutator and brush gear. Magnetic field system. Magnetic field system is nothing but stator. So basically stator is the stationary part of DC machine. The main objective of the magnetic field system is to produce the magnetic field which will give us the alternative north and south poles. So the parts of the magnetic field system are First is yoke. This is the basic diagram which shows what is the yoke. Yoke is basically a hollow cylinder which covers the outer portion of the DC machine. It performs the following function. First, it provides mechanical support. Second, it protects the machine. And third, it is also called as frame. The material from which it is made is, in case of small machine, it is made up of cast iron. In case of large machine, it is made up of cast steel or rolled steel. The figure shows the basic diagram of pole core. This portion is called as core whereas the downward portion is called as pole shoe. If you see properly, then it is made up of number of thin laminations. Similarly, our pole shoe is also made up of number of thin laminations. 
Now let us see what is the function of pole core. Pole core is basically an electromagnet. It consists of field windings which are wound on it. It provides the magnetic flux when the field winding is excited. Now let us see what is the material from which it is made. As I have already told you, it is made up of certain laminations. These laminations are made up of annealed steel which are insulated from each other and are riveted together. Laminations are used in order to reduce the eddy current loss. Now let us see how this eddy current loss is reduced by using the laminations. We know that the basic Ohm's law is given by V is equal to I into R. From this equation, we can derive the formula for resistance as So, if you can see, our current is inversely proportional to resistance. Also, we know the formula of resistance which is given by R is equal to rho L by A. If we see in this formula, our resistance is directly proportional to length. So, by using the lamination, the length of the conducting path can be increased. As the length increases, resistance increases, resistance is inversely proportional to current. So, as the resistance increases, current will decrease. Hence, by using the laminations, AD current can be reduced. Next part is pole shoe. We have already seen what is the pole shoe. So the basic function of pole shoe is it supports the field coil. Then it increases the cross sectional area which thereby reduces the reluctance. Now the material which is used for the pole shoe is the material is similar to pole core that is annealed steel which is insulated and riveted together. It is laminated in order to reduce the eddy current loss. We have already seen how the eddy current loss is reduced by the use of laminations. Next is field winding. If you see, this is the figure which shows the field windings. In this figure, there are four pores. On each pole core, there are certain windings. These windings are nothing but field windings. These windings are connected together and they are supplied with the external current. This is the actual diagram or actual figure which shows the stator. These are the two poles and this is the field winding. This is the motor house which is nothing but frame. This is called as stator fitted motor body because the stator is fit inside the motor body or the frame. Now let us see what are the functions of the field winding. It is wound on pole core to produce a coil. It is connected in series to form the field coils. When the current flows through the field coils, it produces the alternate north and south pole in the direction of rotation. Now let us see the material by which it is made of. Basically, field winding is made up of conducting material like copper. Now next part of the DC machine is armature. Armature is basically the rotating part of the DC machine. It consists of two parts, armature core and armature winding. Armature is nothing but the hollow cylinder which is mounted on the shaft. It consists of slots on the outer periphery. Now let us see in detail the construction of armature. The first part of armature is armature core. This is the construction of armature core. If you see, 
This is the armature core. It consists of number of slots on its outer periphery. Inside the slots, conductors are placed. Now let us see what is the function of armature core. Armature core has large number of slots on the outer periphery. Armature conductors are placed inside the slots. It provides a low reluctance path for the flow of magnetic flux. Now let us see what is the material used. The armature core is basically made up of high permeability, low reluctance magnetic material. The laminations are provided in order to reduce eddy current loss. Next is armature windings. Armature windings are nothing but number of conductors or the coils which are connected in series. These coils when connected in series form the armature winding. Now let us see what are the functions of armature winding. Armature conductors are interconnected to form the armature winding. Armature winding is connected to an external circuit. The material used for the armature winding is Armature winding is basically made up of the conducting material like copper. Next part of the DC machine is commutator and brushes. First, let us see what is a commutator. In figure, we can see the diagram of commutator. The figure shows the basic diagram of the commutator. The commutator is basically made up of number of thin segments which are made up of copper. Between each segment there is an insulation of mica. Now let us see what is the function of commutator. The main function of commutator is it converts the alternating current into direct current. Second, it provides the unidirectional torque for the DC machine. Now let us see what is the material used for the commutator. Segments of commutator are made up of copper and the insulation between the commutator segments is made up of mica. Next is brushes. Let us see what is the function of brush. Brushes basically collect the current from the commutator and give it to the external supply. The material used for the brush is brushes are basically made up of either carbon or graphite. In this way we have studied in detail the total construction of DC machine. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda. Thank you.